Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Arbop, uh, Daddy's Drone Edition. Uh, Arbop, Briggs Book of Philosophies, is my channel when I talk about what I want to talk about things the way I want to talk about it. Um, Daddy's Drones, this is my first video in this series, and what I hope to do is uh, clarify, help, assist, and uh, 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 open the uh, uh, dialogue and the uh, the potential for more people to be able to fly drones um, legally, all right, both in your state and uh, federal as far as the FAA. Um, some people don't know that if you use a drone in any way, uh, directly or indirectly, to make money, you have to have an FAA uh, license, all right? You have to pass the uh, their uh, knowledge test and uh, their certification, your license. Also, you need to be concerned with whatever your local and state uh, rules, regulations, and laws are. Okay, so how did I get from not knowing anything to where I am now? Uh, being that I do have an FAA uh, license and I am, do have a permit for North Carolina. Um, I was working where I work in parts, well, parts unknown, what I call it. I work in the Middle East overseas. And... Um, I was interested in using drone footage for my other YouTube channel, Daddy Cooks. Uh, yes, it's a cooking channel. Uh, uh, I'll leave a link below. Um, and since I already get paid by YouTube to make uh, uh, videos, as soon as I use drone footage, directly or indirectly, I am getting, making money with the drone. So therefore, I thought it'd be prudent to get the FAA license and North Carolina permit just to avoid any problems. Um, I started out uh, studying the FAA uh, study guide. I'll leave a link to that. Um, and as I was studying that material, then it hit, you know, make sure that you understand the uh, your local and state laws. I was like, oh, snap, I hadn't thought of that. So then I went to the North Carolina Department of Transportation uh, Aviation uh, Division, I think it's called. And uh, there was information there and there is a North Carolina requirement. So I also uh, downloaded and studied that study guide. I'll leave a link to that as well. I passed that test online, a little bit of studying, not too bad. It was fairly simple. But once I got done, then it asked me for my FAA number, which I didn't have. Okay. So in order to have the North Carolina, in my case, I don't know about your state, you also have to have the FAA. So that got me back into studying for the FAA test. Um, I did not pay anyone to take a drone school, drone class, or anything like that. Um, I did go to uh, a, a YouTube site. Uh, I can't think of the name. I'm a photography guy. Uh, I'll post his name underneath because I can't think of his name right now. Great, great uh, uh, source of information. A lot of questions. It's about an hour long video. Um, I watched that over, over, and over. And I also uh, took as many, um, I just Googled them or Facebook, I'm sorry, Googled them or uh, uh, YouTube as many practice tests as I could. That's all I did. That's all I did. Once again, the FAA uh, study manual. Uh, you're going to have to download their, uh, it's a supplement um, so that you have all the, uh, the things that you can use to uh, take the tests. Um, and then once again, online practice test. That's all I did over, over, over and over until I felt confident. Then I went down to my local, uh, 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 it's a little small air, airfield here. There's two of them in the uh, area local here, uh, close to Fayetteville, North Carolina, that you could go to. Um, but there's a list of places where you can take the test. I'll leave a link to that from the FAA as well. Uh, so you can find a place where you can go take the test yourself. But I went down, I took the test. Uh, it was $150, pass or fail. Okay, uh, I did take the test, 60 questions. I believe I had two hours to take the 60 question test. Uh, six, like 63 or something like that. Okay. Uh, and I passed. All right. Did fairly well. 
first time through. Now, I must say that I have a military background. So reading maps and using the legend was fairly simple to me. Now, I did have difficulty finding some of the locations on the map because it's not really clear. Go to section three, it's a circle, and then you gotta search around and find an airfield or a symbol or whatever. That took a little bit of time. But um, the majority of the symbols or questions uh, that have to do with symbology on the map or information, uh, uh, altitudes, is it um, above ground level, above sea level, and things like that, you can find that information on the legend that they will provide you. So just practice reading the legend uh, and you should be fine with those type of questions. Um, I did have difficulty with, uh, I confused some of the airspace lines with some of the navigational like compass lines. So make sure you're really, really careful with that piece. There might be a circle on the map. And if you look at it quickly, you might think it's an airspace line, but it's not. It's a line for a compass or something that has nothing to do with airspace. So be really, really careful on that. I missed a couple questions because of that mistake. Um, but pretty much that's all I did. Uh, like I said, I'll post a bunch of links to the places where I took these tests and where I downloaded information and what I watched. Um, and I was successful. Okay. Uh, I don't know your study ethic, your work ethic. Uh, other options are some of the drone schools. I'm not going to leave any links to those because I didn't use any. Uh, if you apply yourself, give your pl yourself plenty of time to take the uh, study before you take the test. Um, I think the average person would be fine. Another thing is once you're comfortable and you study and study and study, just call the place and set up a date. All right. I want to take the test on this day because I kept procrastinating and procrastinating and I kept studying and I wasn't sure. But once you set yourself a date and you're locked in that, uh, I don't know for you, but that made me say, well, the date's coming. I need to buckle down, get my final studying in. And then I went and took the test. All right, guys. Um, just so you know, like I said before, $150 pass or fail. If you fail, you cannot take the test again for a week and you will have to pay another hundred and fifty dollars all right guys um i already received like i said my faa and my state uh north carolina uh permit i already bought myself a mavic pro i got the uh go fly me package i'm not gonna do an unboxing there's millions and millions of those um i will show you a little bit of footage footage um during some of my practice runs right after i finish talking if you have any questions uh, just post them below this uh, video and if I can answer them I will all right uh, thanks for your attention I hope that this was helpful and uh, I see you in the skies
Thank you.